YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie. Welcome back to the Phasmophobia Equipment Series, baby. We're continuing this installment by talking about the crucifix, all right? So let's jump straight into it. Alrighty. Um, well, unfortunately, I have to go inside for this to show you the tier one, but here in my hand, no, I didn't go into the backyard of this house and grab some rope and two sticks, even though it looks like it. Uh, this is, in fact, the tier one crucifix. It's very pitiful. And when you hear about the ability of the crucifix, uh, especially the tier one, you'll understand just how pitiful it is. First and foremost on the list, let's look at the screen here. You see this holographic sign at the, or the holographic circle at the top of the screen. Uh, the one that goes from here to the end of the, uh, the couch there. Yeah, you know how uh, if, if that's a revenant or a thay, you're pretty much dead. The protection radius, similar to in the ghostwriting episode, what I was talking about, uh, where you go to place the ghostwriting journal um, and you have the holographic symbol of the journal and then above it, you have the radius of the interaction. Um, same with the crucifix. But in this case, the crucifix stops a hunt, right? Um, if the ghost is within this radius and it wants to hunt, it will eat the crucifix instead of hunting you okay now the caveat is we have the tier one which is completely horrible so it's got the smallest detection or smallest radius as well as it only stops one hunt the tier two and tier three you get two prevented hunts all right so basically if this ghost wants to hunt me it touches this door i think uh so you can place it in this room and literally the laundry room on tanglewood is about the only room besides that in the bathroom where this actually is functional every other room uh the ghost can like hunt you in right if if the ghost wants to hunt me it will burn the crucifix now the other thing to tell if the uh crucifix is burnt is if you have lights on and all the lights go out and it's not the breaker that's that's a good way to tell if the crucifix has been burned obviously aside from going in and seeing that the crucifix has like been burned up but yeah, so that's the tier one. I'm gonna get out of here um, and uh, go grab the tier two and talk about that now. Alrighty, so in my hand, I have the much more prestigious uh, and uh, better looking, that's for sure, uh, tier two crucifix. And um, it's it's just so much better. You, you actually unlock this earlier than you would think, okay? Um, but it's still kind of further on. I'm not exactly sure what exact level you unlock the set, but the good thing is, is you remember how the protection radius went from about right here to the edge of this couch with the tier one? Well, with the tier two, look at that. We're at the coffee table now, baby. How about it? So the good thing is it like, it's all the way around. So it's like an actual diameter if we're getting technical, but like this circle covers that distance around the center of the crucifix pretty much so and like i said previously you get two prevented hunts with the tier two crucifix okay so one thing i'll know they unlike in the previous episodes where i talk about the ghosts that interact with everything uh we're kind of past that point now because we're done with all the evidence equipment now we're just getting into the extra the extra stuff that you can use to either protect yourself or identify ghosts outside of evidence mm -hmm. um but one thing you got to know specifically about the crucifix is the only ghost that has one specific piece of information you need to know uh, regarding the crucifix is that uh, the demon, if you're dealing with the demon, this protection radius that you're seeing at the top of your screen here is doubled, even though you can't see it in in game. Uh, if it is a demon, the range of the crucifix, no matter if it is tier one through tier three, it is doubled. Uh, because of the demon's hunting characteristics and just it's one of its abilities and weaknesses as that specific ghost so that's one thing you got to know so that's pretty much all you got to know about the tier two man um two prevented hunts much better uh protection radius it's just uh just level up from the tier one to get to the tier two as fast as you can Alrighty, so here we are the best of the best, baby. All right, so the tier three not only looks really cool, it looks like a freaking sword, dude. You can like chop the ghost with this. Not really, but that would be sick. But the tier three isn't much different from from the tier two, meaning you only get you you get two two prevented hunts. However, let's take a look at the protection radius. All right, so here we are, uh, about in the same spot, right? And the tier three goes all the way to the edge of the freaking living room, dude. So it's a much larger radius of protection, but 
The thing that sets the tier three apart and the reason why it is the best of the best, we had the mirror here, but I have no idea where the ghost room is. It touched this door, but the tier three will stop cursed hunts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the mirror and I'm gonna try to do this like live. Okay, there's the ghost room. So if we have this in the ghost room and we break the mirror, it's gonna start a cursed hunt. So it just, it just burnt the crucifix because we're at low enough sanity we're gonna trigger a cursed hunt now and it if i remember correctly it should stop the cursed hunt okay i lied and i'll explain that here in just a second as long as i don't die slightly faster it's twins it's twins classic in my chat just backed up what i was about to tell you that i forgot um so for a cursed hunt which is what we're sitting through right now um, in order for the tier, tier, the tier 3 to stop a cursed hunt, it will take both of that crucifix's charges. So, as you saw right there, if the ghost tries to hunt and it uses the crucifix once, if you try to stop a cursed hunt with an already used tier 3 crucifix, it's not going to work. Okay? I think we have the twins here. It could be a Moroi. I think it's a Moroi. Cause that's that's way too fast to be slightly faster than normal speed so i'm gonna say it's a more roy just because our sanity is is low but the more roy's faster anyways i'm getting off topic but yeah so if you have a cursed hunt you got to make sure you have a fresh tier three crucifix baby um but yeah so the curse possession that is most useful for this is the summoning circle because if you don't want the ghost to hunt you you can light the summoning circle put the not in this order put the tier three down in the middle of the summoning circle and then light the summoning circle and the ghost will still appear so you can get your photo but it won't hunt you but you have to make sure it is brand new okay but yeah man so that's uh that's that's all you got to know but yeah tier three is the best and i mean it just looks cool dude look at this it's silver or whatever this is but nonetheless if you want to learn how to level up super fast to get to the tier three crucifix you for sure have to be level 90 to get this though so it is a grind but it is completely worth it but this is the last item you have to unlock um before you can prestige okay but uh if you want to learn how to do that you can check out this guide over here uh where i talk about my xp farm strategy um that will help you level up really fast or if you want to watch the next episode in this series you can click the play the playlist that just popped up on the screen so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one